BMW might have made its name in sporty saloon cars, but when it comes to spacious, practical and even performance oriented SUVs, it's got those bases covered too. The German manufacturer has already proven its worth in this sector, with the X1 through to X6, and there's the soon to be unveiled X7, not to mention rumours of an X8 that's on the way. But there was one key car that was missing, the X2. This coupe-like crossover is smart to look at and just as luxurious as you'd expect from the brand. And you'll be surprised by just how practical this small car is. So the big question is, what's it like when it comes to driving performance? Can it match up to other models in the range? Despite its sporty looks, the X2 is more designed for everyday driving than the track. That doesn't mean it's lacking in any capabilities though, this is a BMW after all. The X2 fares a lot better in the corners than it does on the straights. Little body roll and confident handling makes the X2 one of the better handling small SUVs out there. The ride is also very impressive, even in sporty M Sport trim. It's safe, comfortable and predictable, and that's what most buyers are looking for when buying a crossover. Three engines are available on the X2, all of which are two-litre units. Two diesels are available, the 18D and the 20D, which produce 148 brake horsepower and 187 brake horsepower, respectively. The more powerful 20D is only available with BMW's all-wheel drive X-Drive system, whereas you can get the 18D as a two-wheel drive option too. Fuel economy ranges between 54.3 mpg and 62.8 mpg, depending on which wheels you choose and how big and bold you choose to go with your alloys. The petrol unit is the 189 brake horsepower 20i, with fuel economy figures of 51.4 mpg. Unfortunately, you can only get the petrol version in two-wheel drive. With great economy figures and range, these diesel units are likely to be the most popular engines with buyers. Imagine a coupe-like version of the X1, and that's really how the X2 looks. It's curvier, less MPV-like, and much smarter looking. However, it doesn't go for any of the obvious choices that manufacturers often add when creating a crossover, as it avoids having the pointless plastic cladding that most crossovers are now accustomed to, and also has a surprisingly low roofline. Out of all BMW's current SUVs, the X2 is the one that stands out from the crowd the most. It's also nowhere near as big in person as it looks in photos, instead looking like a large hatchback rather than a fully-fledged crossover. BMW has fitted an upside-down kidney grille, which looks smart in person and looks good with chunky bumpers. Overall, it ticks all the boxes. Inside, it is up to typical BMW standards with plush materials that have been assembled to last. Our high-spec M Sport test car also comes laden with kit inside and the optional leather upholstery gives the car a premium feel. BMW certainly hasn't ripped up the rule book with the X2's cabin, but any current BMW drivers will feel reassured by its tried and tested driver oriented cabin and design. Its easy to use iDrive infotainment system is by far one of the best systems on the market and even those fresh to the brand will find it intuitive to use. This is also available in a choice of sizes, a 6.5 inch screen is offered as standard while you can upgrade to an 8.8 .8 inch display if you prefer. If you want to know more on the interior of the car, our full written review for the BMW X2 is available by clicking the link above. While the X2 might not look much bigger in person than the firm's 1 Series, it's actually quite deceivingly practical. The space up front can easily rival that of a much bigger SUV, while rear passengers get decent space too. The X2's boot space is only marginally smaller than that of the X1, with an impressive 470 litres of luggage space. For everyday family life, most will find this covers all the bases. The BMW X2 range starts from just over £30,000, pricing it keenly against key rivals such as the Jaguar E-Pace. It's certainly not the cheapest car on the market. 
although it's reasonably equipped for the money. Standard kit on SE spec includes 17-inch alloy wheels, BMW connected services including satellite navigation, Bluetooth and rear parking sensors. What's noticeable though is that there isn't all that much difference in price between the top spec and entry level cars, just over £4,000, which when you consider the extra kit you get makes top spec cars look quite good value. There are multiple option packs available too to create your ideal BMW X2. For more information on the pricing options on the BMW X2, then click the link above. The X2 remarkably and successfully fills yet another niche in BMW's crossover range. Paired with its safe handling and excellent refinement, it's one of the finer crossovers out there. Add in its roomy cabin, bold design and excellent standard equipment and the X2 stands out for all the right reasons, in a class that somewhat lacks excitement and that dare to be different attitude. If you'd like to watch more videos like this one, click here. If you'd like to learn more about the BMW X2, click here and to keep updated on all of our latest videos, click the link below to subscribe to our YouTube channel.